so I decided to pick these up from my local Harbor Freight. I've had a couple of these over the years, but different style. There were more like this style, and this pair is actually pretty good. Um, it's got a lot of the same features that this one does, but this one is like a quarter or a third of the price of what these were. For $5.99 from Harbor Freight, um, before any sort of discounts or coupons, you can get a pair of these. It can do anywhere from 10 to 22 uh, wire gauge. And it's actually got a couple extra features for the money. Um, jaw scale in inches and millimeters, cable cutter, and they say it's lightweight and handy. Uh, precise blade adjustments for cutting soft or hard wiring sheaths, and we'll play with that a little bit too. Made in China, of course. So let's uh, open it up, have a look. And not that it matters on such a cheap tool, but you do get a lifetime warranty. That's kind of nice. So obviously this piece here is metal. Looks to be some sort of stamped, really cheap metal. Um, the handle itself is plastic. And it looks like they did include a little bit of uh, grease there at the top. Here's the adjuster, which will adjust your tension on the blades. And there is the small scale, if you guys can see that. So you can cut off the exact amount of wire that you want. And then, of course, the cable cutter is down here. It's kind of in a weird spot. We'll just test that out first. problem there. Let's try a little bit thicker of a cord, a vacuum cleaner cord. And that just barely fits in. I believe these are 18 uh, gauge wire. Not easily. I'm going to have to rotate it around to get it to cut it. So that's a little bit too big for the cable cutter, but you can make it work. Put the tension all the way on. not too bad actually. If there's any damage to the wiring underneath, it doesn't appear that there is. So I'm not messing with the tension, it's the same as where it was. Let's see what it does. Looks like we've got a couple small pieces of copper wire in there. So we'll turn it back a little bit, see what happens. That's actually much better. So you'll have to play with the settings a little bit to kind of get it where you want it. But it does a good enough job, and even with it all the way up as much as it was, it didn't really da it didn't damage any of the, the sheathing inside that I can tell. So the issue I'm starting to have now that I've used these more than a few times is looks like it's damaging the sheathing there. It's it's wanting to pull the whole wire through. It's not really doing it now, but it was doing that earlier. So for a grand total of six bucks for a tool that may or may not work for your needs, I would say it's a good deal. Um, as long as you don't expect too much of it, much out of it, you don't expect it to last all that long. It's nowhere near the quality of these, but again, you get what you pay for. So a $6 tool you might use every now and again, um, home user, home game, or whatever, it's probably okay for, but if you're using it fairly often, I would just get a better pair. But for 6 bucks, again, the price point, you really can't go wrong. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and stay tuned for more. You all stay classy.